What's up you guys? Welcome back to another braces video. My name is Katie and I am 24 with braces. It is so much fun. I have had braces for about six months now and I just wanted to share with you guys all of the tips and tricks that I've learned so far. I feel like I've experienced almost everything that I will in my entire braces journey so far except for elastics. I have yet to have had those. I will probably towards the end of this whole thing. I'm gonna have my braces on for a total of a year and a half and I have the clear ceramic braces on the top and metal ones on the bottom which you can hardly see love that for me if you have any other questions or just want to know a little bit more about my braces journey in general i'm going to go ahead and link my videos down in the description below okay so my first few tips are if you have not had your braces on yet and you're about to go or you're thinking about it my very first tip is to see at least a couple different orthodontists before you make the decision i feel like having braces is such a big investment it's like having another car payment and you want to make sure that it's done right and that you really trust your orthodontist and that you really enjoy going to the orthodontist that you see because you are there so often you're there every six weeks and it goes around so fast you feel like you're always there i love my orthodontist they are so friendly it's like a quick in and out every time i go in to get a wire change i feel like i can really trust them and trust the whole process i did actually see an orthodontist before my current one that i see it's usually they do a free consultation so that's super convenient if you're trying to make up your mind you're not sure where you want to go my first experience was very different from my second one and I found both of these places by just kind of searching on Google I'm new to this area so I didn't really have friends that I could ask and get recommendations from this first place that I went to they had very good reviews I went in for my consultation they were super friendly the orthodontist came in he looked at my teeth and I felt like he didn't quite know what to do with me because I'm an adult treating me as a little bit different than kids. I have a crossbite and that's something that you can only really fix as a child unless you get surgery. So he was telling me like, you need to go get surgery, all of this wild stuff. And I, after that appointment, I literally wanted to cry because I was like, I'm gonna have to get surgery. I'm gonna be out of work for a while. Like this is awful. I don't wanna go in for surgery. I was preparing myself for that. And kind of after I calmed down from that a little bit, I decided I need to go get a second opinion. Another thing that kind of made me feel a little bit unsure about this orthodontist was that they didn't give me a for sure plan. Like, this is what we're gonna do. This is how much it's gonna cost. They wanted me to pay like $300 for records, which are like all the x-rays and stuff. And then they were gonna give me my plan. And I just didn't feel comfortable about paying $300 and then figuring out what they were gonna do with my teeth, how much it was gonna cost, if I was gonna need surgery or if not. So that made me feel a little bit uncomfortable and there was something in the back of my head that was telling me, you need to go see someone else. So I actually was on Instagram and an influencer in Virginia Beach area, she also recommended this orthodontist and I went and checked it out, went for a consultation. My experience with them was completely different. It was so much more professional. They took all of the before pictures, they sat me down the orthodontist was like hey this is what's wrong your crossbite is not really a big deal we don't really need to fix it therefore I don't need surgery they gave me the whole plan of how much it was gonna cost what kind of braces I wanted and they gave me a paper with every single little thing listed on it what my payment plan was gonna be everything was completely laid out that just made me feel so much more comfortable and I walked out of there and I was like yep this is it this is the one I'm doing I walked out with an appointment to get braces 100% positive that this was the orthodontist I was going to go with. Highly recommend going to at least a couple orthodontists, especially if the first one that you go to, you're a little bit unsure. It's always so good to get a second opinion with this, especially because it's so important. You don't want to have to get braces again for the cost and just because it's not fun. I want this to be a one-time deal and then I'm done. Getting on to tip Number two, if you have chosen your orthodontist, you are ready for your first appointment, take lots of before pictures, please. You will love yourself for it later. It is so much fun to watch all of the progress that you're making with your teeth because you will notice it. And surprisingly, I noticed it a lot in the first few months, all of the changes in my teeth. And it's different for everyone. You might not notice as much. I had a gap in my two front teeth. So watching them close up was the coolest thing ever and having 
having before pictures to see all of the changes throughout each appointment was so cool. And moving on to number three, this is honestly probably one of the most important tips for me. I came into having braces so unprepared. I honestly thought that it wasn't gonna hurt as bad as it did and everybody's different. I feel like everybody's teeth shift differently so the pain might be a little bit different for everyone. Everybody has different pain tolerance. I actually have a really high pain tolerance and I was in so much pain for the first like three to four days and I didn't really have any good foods to deal with that, like soft foods. So the day of your braces appointment, make sure because that evening you're probably gonna start to feel the pain. It hurts so much to chew. You're gonna wanna make sure you have lots of soft foods and smoothie makings. That was the number one struggle. I was so unprepared and for me, the hardest thing is to find soft foods that are easy to eat when you're in that much pain that also have a lot of protein and you're not starving all the time. So I have a few suggestions for you guys on some good foods to get or eat when you have braces. Those are anything to make smoothies, oatmeal, pasta, rice, bananas, and yogurt. I feel like there's some pretty good choices here that have a little bit more substance to them than having like just pudding or jello and have a little bit more protein in them, but you are gonna be living off of those for about three to four days and it kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Tip number four kind of goes in hand with number three. This one helps alleviate a lot of the pain without taking like painkillers or anything, which I feel like for me, painkillers, didn't do anything at all whatsoever. I would say it's drinking ice cold water or any ice cold drink, but if you drink it out of a straw and you kind of splash it on your gums, it helps kind of alleviate the pain, makes the inflammation go down a little bit. I feel like it's kind of a way of putting an ice pack on the area that hurts and it feels so good. And also you stay hydrated, so. Okay, moving in to all the products that have helped me keep my braces nice and clean, which if you already have braces on, you know, the struggle of trying to keep food out of your brackets. It's so gross. And I hate the feeling of my mouth constantly feeling gross, feeling unclean. It's just nasty. Just to start off, don't use a whitening toothpaste. It's gonna leave like a little square on your teeth and that would not be a good thing, which I was kind of sad about because I always use the Crest 3D White. I have been for so long, so I had to switch toothpaste. And right now I'm using this Sensodyne Pro Enamel toothpaste. I'm not really a huge fan of this one. It doesn't leave like that minty, fresh feeling. But once I finish this tube, I am probably just gonna go back to like a regular Crest toothpaste. Just make sure that it's not whitening. Next, I have a couple products that are gonna help you keep food out of all the little wires in the brackets. Next up, you might have seen these already. These are the Dentec Slim Brushes. And I got these off of Amazon. These little things are so handy. I would honestly recommend keeping them in your purse or your car. This is what they look like. They have a little brush bristle on the end and they just kind of help get into the wire and underneath and get all that nasty food out because you can get really huge chunks of food which is kind of gross. Topper thinks it's a toy. If for some reason you don't have these on hand, what also works is just swishing around a little bit of water and then it kind of gets all the food out there and, and spitting it out. If you want something that's going to get it out a little bit better than that, highly recommend these. You can get them on Amazon. Then my next tool that you guys can use are these little Colgate Wisp toothbrushes. And honestly, even if you don't have braces, these are incredible. They are basically like a little toothbrush on the go. They have toothpaste in the center of them. So it leaves you feeling minty and kind of freshens your breath also. So this is what they look like. See, they're just little miniature toothbrushes. And my favorite part is that they have this little pick on the other end where you can just kind of like pick out anything else. These work really well as well. I keep them in the glove box in our car. I love that they also freshen your breath because when you have braces, you can't chew gum. So next we're gonna talk about flossing with braces, which is just not a fun experience. There are a few different ways that you can do it. Honestly, regular floss kind of takes forever, but I bought these Oral-B Glide Threader Flossers off of Amazon. These work pretty well. They take a little bit longer. Um, but I'll show you guys what they look like. They come in these little individual packets. It's basically just regular floss. It just has this extra little threader so you can like get it up underneath the wire easier and then you can stick it through. It does kind of take a little bit longer because you have to thread it through. I would recommend these as a good 
method of flossing and I kind of like these little to-go packs because if you're going on vacation or going somewhere you can just kind of throw them in your travel bag and you're good to go. My next and easier option for flossing would have to be a water flosser. First, when people were suggesting to me to get a water flosser for my braces, I was like, no, those are way too expensive. I'm only gonna have my braces on for a year and a half. Why would I spend like $60 on a water flosser? And then I found this one on Amazon, actually on sale when I bought it. I bought it for, I wanna say like $25, but I think it's originally around 30. This is the Fairy Will Water Flosser it has a couple different modes depending on how sensitive your teeth are. There's a clean, soft, and massage mode. I do it on the soft mode because it does get pretty powerful. And make sure you have your mouth closed when you turn it on. I've even brushed my teeth and then used this afterwards and it's still gotten stuff out of my braces. So this thing works really well. Highly, highly recommend these. And I can just eat a snack or have lunch and I don't have to go in and full on brush my teeth. I can just kind of rinse this through few times and I'm good to go. The next product is just mouthwash. I feel like anything you can get to help your mouth feel cleaner with braces, I'll take it. But I just use this TheraBreath. This has been all over TikTok and it's supposed to keep your breath fresh for 24 hours. I think this one works really well. I got this invigorating icy mint and it is powerful. It like burns after a while, but it definitely works and it just makes my mouth feel a whole lot cleaner with braces. Okay, that's it for all of my braces products. My last tip that I wanted to share with you guys is one that I kind of wish people had told me and if you are an adult that's thinking about getting braces or has braces, when you go to an orthodontist, everything kind of feels like kid size and it feels awkward and embarrassing and going into having braces as a young adult and I realized that I'm definitely still very young to have braces, which I did not realize before I had braces. I just felt a little bit uncomfortable and wasn't excited about getting braces in my 20s. I was definitely feeling very insecure about it, very nervous about what people would think, honestly. One thing that I realized as soon as I got my braces on is that there are so many adults that actually have at one point had braces as an adult or do currently have braces. Last time I went to the orthodontist, it was actually filled with mostly adults. And there's nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed about. I was scared to show everyone when I first got my braces. I hated the first time I was gonna have to see people after I got my braces. And honestly, people were so encouraging and so nice and kind about it. Now that I've had them on for a while, I can hardly see them myself too. And I feel like it's just something that I should have worried a little bit less about. There are so many people out there that are dealing with the same thing and you're not alone and you're gonna have a really beautiful smile soon and honestly it's gonna go by so fast which I feel like so many people say which kind of gets a little bit annoying because I'm like it's literally not fast enough. Now that I've kind of focused a little bit less on looking for the progress in my teeth and waiting for the time to be over it's moving a little bit quicker and I can't believe I'm already probably a year away from getting them off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can hang out with me and follow the rest of my braces journey. Topper and I are gonna go ahead and go on a walk because the sun is starting to come out a little bit and I will see you guys next time.